updates 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 this video is all about updates <laughs> First, we have a Harpactira pool herpes mold. It molded a few days ago, I didn't notice it immediately. So I'm not sure if we will be able to figure out the, the sex, but we will try it out, you know the procedure. So drop of detergent. Oof, that is much more than a drop, but whatever. And warm water. And just soak that in there now we wait two three four minutes mm, let me show you the harpactira it's all the way behind now ever since it molted it became so defensive you will probably see it now okay this it is fine now but you can see it's starting to look more and more like adult and that is awesome! So yeah, it is awesome that this one is growing. It is growing pretty fast. Surprisingly fast. Now next, what do we have here? Yeah, let's start with spiny, spiny assassin bugs. One and two. Here are the drunk spiny assassin guys. Don't go out. And you can see, I'm starting to get babies. So I'm, I'm rehousing all the babies here, you can't really see, but there is a lot of them inside. Hmm. And in almost every video I see comments that people are commenting that I have mites inside of my enclosures. These are not mites, these are springtails and they clean the enclosure, although there is really a lot inside. But anyway, as I said, I'm getting a lot of babies, so I'll probably just soon make one big colony with the adults and the rest of the smaller ones. That will probably be the easiest. I don't know, we will see about that. Now next, Monocentropus balfouri. We have a roach still inside. And here is a half-eaten roach. So I guess majority of them are in pre-mold. And you can see a mold here. But this is generally what I'm able to see. Just the web castle and that's all. Nothing else. So yeah, Monocentropus balfouri. Here I have the other assassin bugs species. And they are also reproducing. You can see here is a here is a baby. Here you can see two more. And these round things, those are the eggs. So I'm trying to gather majority of eggs from this enclosure and just transfer it in that small enclosure. So yeah, it appears that they are really easy to reproduce. Mm. Here is the, the mantis and it's more... Oh, where are you going? And as you can see, it molted. Now it's slightly bigger. You wanna go on the camera? No? Go down. Go down, go down. No, no, no. Move your legs. Oh, come on. This is really hard with only one hand. There we go. So yeah, the mint is molted. That's one update. Let's now move to the crayfish. This is the amazing setup that I made. As you can see, let me just turn off the, the pump so you can maybe see one. There is one. I can throw in some light. Uh, one crayfish. And he oh, and here's the other. Sweet, both of them are out. Usually they also hang out in these holes of the rock. Yeah, the amazing setup. <laughs> I mean, it works. It got the filtration. Inside there is like 30 liters of water. And I quickly needed to learn how to cycle the aquarium and all that aquarium stuff that I didn't know about. And they are still alive, so I guess that I'm doing a good job. <laughs> now this, this is for my next project. I have an idea to make a stackable enclosures, similar like CD enclosures, but out of glass, so it will be more fancy. So yeah, 
that's in the works and this brick this is the white on brick and i will be making a nest for ants inside so that is also coming and this glass is for the enclosure for if you remember the gramostola pulchripes female that i bought but but i want to make a front lid out of the the plexiglass sheet and i used the silicone to connect the the plexiglass to glass like like here these hinges are connected with silicone and they are holding but some like this one on the center pit enclosure this one you see it's not holding because the silicone is not designed to hold the plexiglass but i ordered some special glue that will hopefully connect plexiglass and glass and that's why this is waiting also i will do the same thing for if you remember the pezzoteria sufusca i will also make an enclosure glass enclosure with front plexiglass lid but i'm waiting for that special glue to arrive and hopefully it will work next this this is the enclosure that i'm working on for the hamster it is still not complete but it is in the works as you can see so that is also coming this is for the gecko the gecko is actually <laughs> kept in this temporarily just temporarily awesome stuff right the gecko is inside probably in one of these two tubes Maybe I can find it. Let me just grab light. Oh. He is hiding. There is his head, his legs, his tail. He usually hangs out in here through the day. I will also make a front lid out of plexiglass, waiting for that glue. And this styrofoam will go inside, inside of the enclosure. And I will carve it and try to make a tree trunk imitation. Hopefully it will work. So then it will go inside and yeah. I made the devil update. The hamster. So the hamster is waiting for that enclosure. And once he's in that enclosure, I will use his tub for the tortoise. I'm currently keeping it in this smaller tub. And I don't have... Come here. Come here, little buddy. Here it is. Don't be shy. So anyway, this is where I keep it. I currently don't have a UVB or the basking light because I used to keep it outside. We had relatively warm and shiny weather, so that's why I was keeping it outside, but now it's not really working out. But soon when I make the hamster enclosure, I will transfer it in there. And that will be its enclosure for quite a while. These are mostly Terra Plaza additions. You see the beetles 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 down here you can see the solifuge but they would need oh. <laughs> oh sorry sorry i broke i broke his home but it is fine it can easily dig but the thing is for it to be able to dig in the in the sand sand needs to be a bit moist and that is the problem when you have small amount of sand so it needs deeper enclosure because sand will be able to retain more moisture on the bottom layer let me just There we go. I actually have a feeding clip. And a lot of you asked about beetle larva. Let me just find one. Here it is. They are getting fatter and fatter. See? Really big. And that is awesome. I'm not sure how long it will take for them to, to transform in the beetle. But we will figure it out with time. What is left? Mm, oh yes. The jungle nymph. Male molted. As you can see. This is his old skin. And now, let go. And now it looks like that it is matured because it has wings really awesome looking fella <laughs> the female is here and this enclosure behind them this will be their enclosure but currently i have plants inside with light and high humidity these plants are also for that project that I said that I will be doing but as you can see 
the main problem that I have I don't have enough space I used all the corners in my in my apartment I used everything almost every single available space I used for some enclosure everything everything so that is my current biggest problem but I have some really really good news because soon I will be getting a space for all the animals and there will be enough space for all the new additions all the new enclosures that I plan to do in short there will be enough space for everything that will happen in near future together with all the enclosure projects that I'm currently working on and yeah that is basically this update I think I I think I covered most of it look I'm currently keeping the moss inside until I have the proper enclosure for it what's up anyway I hope you enjoyed this update and I hope that you are excited for what future is bringing if you are thumbs up and comment something if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe I upload every Monday and Friday so see you again soon Bye -bye.